Hey everybody, welcome to a super action-packed video here at TFL HQ because it's fleet update day. We're talking about the cars that have come, the trucks that have gone, and Andre, we're all sad because we sold Stubby. I know, it's uh, the most affordable full-size 4x4. We had to let it go and sell it, but we bought a lot of cool metal. Yeah, that's right. Well, fiberglass in this case, <laughs> composite material. Um, so as you guys know, we receive vehicles for short-term tests directly from the manufacturer. So car companies, truck companies will send us cars for a week or two to test, and then we send them back. But we also purchase vehicles, both new and used, for long-term testing. And you haven't seen a bunch of these. Yeah. So in this video, we're going to show you our garage here in the studio. We're going to go outside too, right? Yeah and show you some vehicles that you haven't even heard of. Yeah, so this is a cool peek behind the curtain of some vehicles that have yet to be seen on YouTube. And we're gonna start with this one. So we've realized that a lot of you guys out there really enjoy our 1980s, 90s, and early 2000s drag racing. Um, and we've kind of come to realize that for the price of new vehicles, we can get a lot of super cheap performance. And this is a vehicle a lot of people have been asking for. This is a C6 generation of Corvette. You actually went and bought this with Roman yesterday. Yeah, we did. Uh, and once again, well, I don't wanna say everything about it, right? Because we have a full video, but low miles, every man supercar i call it yeah right because like you said you can buy it affordably but still uh, you know ls2 v8 engine lots of horsepower and also a pretty fun car this is pretty wild right this is a 2006 car with 34,000 miles for 25 grand and like two owners yes. so these cars are really becoming some of the best value performance out there six speed manual transmission z51 package like you get so much bang for your buck, and that's what we're hoping to kind of showcase in this video series. Um, and it seems like there's, there's been a lack of videos of like this 90s and early 2000s American cars, and that really resonates with you guys, so that's what we're kind of focusing on. Yeah, and yeah, interior is a little bit plasticky, and you want to show this here? I mean, this, is, this Corvette is really famous for this. You know, it's so lightweight, <laughs> you can kind of just um, touch and bend some of its panels. Yeah, I mean, look, it's... it's it's a GM product from 2006, so there's probably going to be some cost cutting there, but I can't believe how much uh, performance this has. So it's got its first drag race coming up today. It's actually taking on our next newest purchase. This is the 2014 Ford Mustang GT, the S197 body style. Now, Andre, we've been looking for one of these Mustangs for a couple months probably close to six months, and these cars are so hard to buy because for the video series, we want to find clean, fairly low mileage stock examples yeah. so that it's as and, close to original as possible. And every Mustang has been modified, at least every GT, to death. Almost, almost every GT has been modified. Yeah, so this is a one owner car guy, bought it brand new, 66,000 miles, we paid like 22 grand. Um, but we've come to realize for the video series, we're better off, we always, we always buy high and sell low around these parts, so we're really good at losing money on cars, but we like to buy the best ones we can for the videos. But yeah, just a pretty standard 2014 Mustang GT. And we're not done with this. You know, a uh, previous owner did a little bit of kind of a uh, sticker package here on the wheels. <laughs> the wheels are a little bit narrow, right? It doesn't quite look proper. Um, a lot of things about this car are proper, but it's too quiet mm. also. Yeah, right? so Roman and Case are on an expedition to turn this car. We call this a senior spec stain. It's an automatic with the skinny tires, but they want to put some fat rubber on it, some cool wheels. And mud flaps. Um, yeah, it's got mud flaps. Andre, we're really good at buying senior spec cars. Well, that's what you want. So the past three- This Corvette is also senior spec. Yeah, the past three sports cars we bought have been from gentlemen over the ages of like 75. But, but they you know, take care of their vehicles. <laughs> They're very precise, meticulous. Um, that's really good. Yeah. Okay, so this is a reveal on camera too that nobody has seen on YouTube. So we are working on another cheap Jeep series, right Andre? Yes, because you guys love those series, right? You're sometimes really tired of us reviewing $80,000 Jeeps, right? Mm -hmm. uh, which we sometimes do. But this is not $80,000. Um, so we have three Jeeps that we purchased recently, and this is one of them. Yeah, this is Nathan's Jeep. This is a KK generation yep. of the Jeep Liberty. And this one has the MySky Power Soft Top. Yes, which is not great. Um, uh, see? see, this is the reason why it's not great. The fitment there is incredible, Andre. Uh, the, gaps, the gaps are kind of big. <laughs> so these soft tops have a 100% failure rate. <laughs> And when they fail, the company that builds the parts went out of business like 10 years ago, uh -huh. so you are screwed. Yes. On the good news, this thing worked when you bought it and it has now since failed. So <laughs> this is another failed uh, MySky soft top. And then this series is brought to us by our friends at Falcon Tire. 
So we've got a set of the Wild Peak 8Ts on this thing right now. Um, the AT3Ws, three peak snow rated, and I was super excited to find this size that actually worked. I'm a big fan of steel wheels, so we're going steel wheels on all of the three Jeeps. You have to. Yeah, but Liberty Jet Edition. So this is going to Moab along with the other two. You're going to see another one here later in the video. Yes, uh, we'll save this for now because uh, a lot of people have seen this, mm -hmm. uh, but many people may not have seen this. So our friends at Acura actually went out and sent us this Jeep for the summer. So this is a brand new JL Rubicon Wrangler with the four corner AccuAir air suspension kit. So this is height adjustable, several inches of up and down travel. And um, Mark, who the guy who is um, kind of spearheading this project, came to us and said, we want you to do whatever you want with it. So he basically sent us a Jeep and gave us free reign. So we just took this up some pretty darn challenging trails. That's we, why it's got some bugs on it. Yeah, we, we really yeah. pushed the limits as to what this AccuAir yeah. setup can do. And we've got a full video coming soon over at TFL Car. By the way, you know, a lot of stock vehicles also have various suspensions, like the Ram 1500, right? Pickup trucks. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of like the new Defender, but but this is really fast acting because it has a tank, really high pressure tank system, and you could go. It's almost like a low rider. It's cool. I mean, it's a high rider. You know, and I was really skeptical skeptical about the system, yeah. but off road it actually did have some cool benefits. Like it in the standard ride height, it's the same extreme recon couple inch lift. Yeah. And then in a couple instances, we needed some more clearance because we were bellied out on the other Jeep we were testing, and this thing went whoop, and we were able to clear out of some obstacles. So that was pretty interesting. And I took it to Cars and Coffee, and I got ducked. You got ducked, Andre. Yes, I got a duck. What does that mean? Uh, that means the Jeep uh, enthusiasts and owners, they put little rubber duckies on each other's Jeeps to just show appreciation. Yeah, yeah, it's so. pretty cool. I, I'm happy you got ducked. Okay. So we got more videos coming with this Acura Jeep very shortly. And then Raptor R. Raptor R, um, well, that's our super truck. So that's in our long-term fleet. So TFL Studios owns this. And we have an update coming soon, actually tomorrow, uh, on TFL Truck. So check out oldtfl.com. All of our channels kind of are linked in the same place. Uh, we have a long-term update because we've owned this for almost, well, four and a half months and almost 4,000 miles. Nice. So what is it like to live with a super truck? Check out that video. The interesting thing about Raptor R's, Andre, is we're probably getting been getting three or four emails a week about people asking where their trucks are? Yes, so we have to address that. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, well, people pre-ordered these months or maybe even a year ago now. Right. And a lot of them are still not getting, you guys are not getting your uh, Raptor R's that you ordered. We asked Ford, they said they're doing everything possible to ship and make as many Raptor R's as possible, but it's still a problem. Mm. And a lot of, actually, we also got emails that these are super valuable right now. Right. Because people can't get them. So the thing is, we've reached out to our Ford contacts, right? We got a question, you know, what's going on? They're it's like, on our website. They gave us a very PR answer, like, we're working as hard as possible. Right. So um, it's very hard for us, from our position, to get the true story of what's going on. Um, uh, you know, it'd be cool to send, like, a little spy drone into the factory, but we don't want to get sued. Well, for example, our, <laughs> this is $110,000. And we don't have a camera mirror, right. right? I mean, so the mirror is very, very simple. So also doesn't have heated steering wheel. So there's clearly yes. some chip things going on, yes. right? Could um, be some supply issues. So we'll we'll try to keep probing and probing them and see if we can get a more clear answer. But interesting, interesting that they're but having. But this has been really it. solid. Yeah, it's been really, 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 really reliable and super fun. It's so fun to drive. Yeah, 700 Super horsepower. fun. So, Andre, let's start making right. our way outside. Okay. So, um, we'll talk about Stubby here at the end, why we sold Stubby. Yeah, Stubby, um, so sad. But Brendan over but, at TFL Classics, he's been a sales machine. <laughs> so, we've been selling a lot of cars, usually for less than we paid for them, of course. So, Brendan yeah. sold a 944 Turbo. Yes. So, that car is gone. Okay. The Jaguar XK8. Oh, no. From a previous With series. lipstick? Yeah, that one is gone. Okay. Um, uh, he's just been, been on fire with all the sales recently. Okay. So um, basically, we buy these cars, we do series with them, and then people get bored of the series. So we just move them on, right? To the yeah, next, next person. Our, our business is making videos. So we're, we bought something else. Yes. That so you may not have seen. This is a 2019 Dodge Charger Pursuit, Andre. Yes. Police car. 5.7 liter V8 all-wheel drive purchased from uh, the Wyoming um, Sheriff's S Department. State Police, right? Yeah, 140,000 miles, probably a million idle hours. Um, but here's the plan with this car. It actually runs and drives beautifully, and we are going to do a series called Are You Faster Than the 5.0, where we take various cars from different eras and see how they compare in a drag race against a modern-day police car. 
but it's actually a five seven. What did I Number. say? Oh, five oh. You said it correctly. That's good, Andre. You said it correctly, but it's actually a five seven Hemi. But here's the way you know it's all wheel drive. Little little trick. Um, if this was a two wheel drive car, yeah, you wouldn't have this kind of a nut here in the center. Oh yeah. Because because you have a kind of a drive shaft going oh, in there as well. Interesting. So it's kind of a little visual clue, but. The bugs are imprinted on this one. Yeah, they are permanently attached to the front end. We need now, to buff this. This car on social media, if you haven't followed us on Instagram or TikTok, has really created a lot of controversy because for 8,600 after auction fees, yeah. you get a V8 charger with all wheel drive and everything works. Yeah. Air conditioning, screens, and, all and, of it. And no criminals, you know, uh, you know, really damage the interior on this. I mean, there is one issue that I am noticing. Yeah. You don't get rear door handles. Well, that's who needs them. She's a little bit of a bummer. So you no way to get out of the back seat. Seriously, though, idle hours are about 5,000. Driving hours about 2,600. So there's a lot of concern about, you know, how this car has been maintained. From what we know, the car seems to run and drive super, super well. Um, well, because they maintain their fleets. Yeah. It's the, got these cars have to work day in and day out. So they're maintained. No ticks. Here, let me, uh, let me deal with this guy. I don't okay. you want to keep going. I'm going to be um, the mic here. I, I want to show you this. Uh, I want to show you this car. Uh, this, this does not belong to um, TFL Studios. This belongs to Brandon. Um, so <laughs> this is one of his fun machines. Um, I cannot believe he found a green one. The paint is really, really peeling on this. Uh, but, and actually everything is peeling. But these cars are quite rare. Check out the front of it. This car, this car is quite rare. Um, we have another. Here you go. Thank you, Tommy. Thanks, Andre. We have another new addition, which does not belong to TFL. Yeah, so but, Alex, but, video <laughs> for Alex. Yes. Apparently, his girlfriend's been having some car woes with this Jeep Cherokee she bought, uh -huh. which... Um, He's more than a drunken sailor, I guess. Okay. It just leaves its territory everywhere. So they went out and bought this. This is a $7,000 Jeep TJ. It's crazy. And look how stock it is and how beautiful. Yes, it has little cosmetic, you know, maybe imperfections somewhere, but that's a lot of Jeep for that money. Yeah, so Brandon's about to do a video kind of showcasing some of the cool gadgets and gizmos you get on these super cheap TJs. But these cars are really starting to appreciate value. They're great off-roaders, and they're a ton of fun. Um, okay, moving on. You've seen this car, probably. C5 Corvette, been featured yes. in many, many drag yes. races. This was $14,000. Yes. And one of the best values of any modern performance car. And actually, I was just reading some magazines about, you know, more kind of a used and classic cars. Mm -hmm. And these are, some. a lot of people say these are good buys because they could gain a little bit of value. Interesting, yeah. So that this could be a really cool car. $14,000. Now, I am actually thinking about buying it from the company. This one? Yes, because I just sold the Mini GP that I had. Mm. Um, and I'm thinking this could be a pretty fun replacement. By the way, I'm also selling one of my cars. What are you selling? I'm, I'm letting go of the Volga, the Gaz 21 Russian car. Oh, interesting. So it's on Facebook Marketplace. Um, still, you know, talking to a couple of potential buyers. So I think all of us are turning over our fleets. Yeah, we're, we're going under some transition. This Lexus I wish was ours, but it's a loan from Lexus. Yep. So we have it for a week. That's yeah, our weekly tester this week. It's the uh, LC Coupe. It's, it's amazing. And I then, think, yeah. Andre, this is exciting. People haven't seen this. So this is actually your <laughs> Jeep in the Cheap Jeep series. Yes, this is my Liberty. This is the KJ. Uh, and it has a contraption on the front. David and I built that for you. So, so this Jeep had a damaged bumper, right? And uh, I had no, no protection. So David and Tommy were kind enough to give me a small skid plate. And I want, also wanted a push bar, but I did not expect a coat hanger. <laughs> it's not a coat hanger, Andre. <laughs> this is heavy duty. This thing will withstand anything you run in, into Moab. Um, and then we also got you a little lift on this thing. But this looks amazing. Yeah, it's got um, a really good stand. These tires are a little bit, maybe a fraction of an inch too big. Yeah, I did so, go a little crazy with their tires. Yeah. So they're, they, they do some rubbing here. They do some rubbing here. Well, they used to. It's been cut. Uh, yes. Uh, they do some rubbing here, and it's been kind of fixed as well. We had to bend back part of this pinch weld. Uh, but it lo just looks amazing, doesn't it? Andre, I have to say, um, I never liked these Liberties. I always thought that they were kind of weird looking and just not very good. This car, we've owned it for a bunch of months now, 
and I've been driving it a ton off camera. 200,000 miles, runs like a top, shifts well. It's comfortable. Working AC? Three grand. $3,000. And now look it's at it. It's unreal. Thing's badass, Andre. It's unreal. Of course, also Falcon tires, right? Yeah, uh, the Falcon Wild Peak RTs. But we're not unveiling the third Jeep. Not yet. No, you have to stay tuned we, for that one. We said three Jeeps, so third one is still to come. My Jeep's a little older and a little slower. Okay. Is yeah. it also a Liberty? No, it's more of a tractor than a Liberty. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so we've got this uh, cheap Jeep series coming over to TFL car shortly. Some other cars we don't have on camera. The Chevrolet Bolt now has about 8,000 miles on it. It's the cheapest uh -huh. electric car. It's been amazing. You did a long-term update as well, didn't you? Um, not recently. Okay. It's got one coming up soon, though. Okay. The Model 3, I think, is over 12,000 miles. That's D2D, yeah. so, so we went coast to coast. Yeah, one go. And we beat Roman Nason's record. It so if you haven't, haven't seen it, you have to check it out. Long trip, very long trip. Uh, let's say it was over 40-some hours. Yes, it was quite yes. tiring, yes. and we got Pretty, uh, pretty accustomed to one another. Um, and then, yeah, just some of the classics are still hanging out, like the, the, the classic Fiat and the 2CV. Um, There's another Ford that we're not disclosing yet, are we? Uh, we talked about it on a live show, but yeah, there's another Mustang we bought. Okay, another Mustang, yes. A little older. Yes. Uh, so we got more coming up on that. Um, we got more cars that we'll be selling here shortly as well to pay for this, but why did we sell Stubby? Well, to fund the Corvette and the Mustang. So here's the thing, right? A lot of people love Stubby. Everyone around yes. the office loves Stubby. Well, we have a video coming to TFL Trucks channel to explain a lot of it. But basically, everybody loved it with two exceptions. Right. Very little actual like luggage storage. Mm -hmm. So if you uncover the bed tonneau cover, if you remove the tonneau cover, you have very limited space in the two-door cab for two people and their luggage, right? If you cover the bed, it's amazing. But it also doesn't tow a lot. Yes. And so that was a problem. The bigger issue for us is we've just done enough videos to the point where a lot of in people out there were getting kind of bored of seeing Stubby. So we moved it on into like the Corvette and the Mustang. We'll have those for a few months, move those on into new project trucks, new project cars. Um, so it's kind of like a revolving door here. We'd love to keep a car for 200,000 miles with the reliability, but from a, a business standpoint, people get well bored after 15,000 miles. Right. But we are holding on to the Ram truck, the, the 2500. Yeah, the, the Cummins is still here. We'll be doing more videos with it soon because it's still lifted. It's got still got 37s. And then, of course, uh, for example, Nathan's truck, right? He's got a the, basket the, on the roof. The Santa Cruz. He's got a really cool basket for his luggage. Um, we keep these trucks, our personal vehicles, sometimes a little bit longer. What's right? going on with the Colorado, Andre? Yes, I also have a uh, long-term update on my Chevy Colorado Trail Bus. And we have an off-road video coming with it from Tumbleweed Ranch. Very cool. So that was my first actual trail run. In, nice. Yes. Well, that was a ton of fun, Andre. We got yes. a lot going on around so these parts. We could speak more, but I think we're beginning to bore people. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, let us know what you think, what vehicles that you want to see us to buy on the channel next. Um, we're talking or trucks. Maybe, Which trucks? Maybe Tacoma. Brand new one. Brand new Tacoma. Yes. Yeah, we've got some plans for that. Yes. All new Tacoma. All new Tacoma. Yes. Um, and then we've got some other, some other ideas kind of working in the background. But uh, love you know, to hear your opinions. Yeah, let us know which performance cars or maybe pickup trucks that you want to see. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And as always, it's been Tommy. And Andre. We'll see you on the next video.